If you have a Facebook page and you make money from videos, this is perhaps one of the most important videos that you'll watch this year. You see, a couple weeks ago, Facebook announced a brand new change on how we make money from our videos on Facebook. And this change is about how Facebook will start paying you for your videos in 2024. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm referring to the performance-based payout structure that everyone is being transitioned to with video monetization. I'm gonna go over the announcement, just highlighting some of the main parts that you need to know. But I made a post in our private community of Facebook creators explaining what these changes actually mean. And by the way, if you're not a member of our private community for Facebook content creators, you're probably missing out. In this private community, not only will you find additional training videos, you'll find page audits, you'll find additional resources that can help you make more money from your content on Facebook. We have over 200 members in the community and I highly encourage you to go and check it out because number one, you're probably gonna learn a lot. And number two, you'll be able to ask as many questions as you want inside of this private community. So go and check it out. The link is gonna be in the description below. So one of the things that I mentioned in this post in my community is that everyone is being transitioned into this new payout structure starting March, 2024. So I wanted to highlight two sections of the announcements that Meta made in regards to this new payout structure. One of the sections that they talked about is how Facebook Reels actually pay out right now, which is based on the number of monetizable plays that a reel might receive. Now with Instagram ads, how they actually paid was based on qualified views. So that means that if your video was getting 5 million views, for example, but only 500,000 of those qualified views, you would only get paid based on those qualified views. Now, qualified views could be one minute of watch time on your video, anything past one minute, it would only show an ad on videos with over a minute of watch time. So only a small percentage of the people who watch the video would actually see an ad. Now, this is all changing with this new performance-based model because right now, as soon as you have this transition into the performance-based model, you would essentially get paid for every single view whether an ad is shown or not. Now, the other section that I wanna talk about is why Meta believe that this is a better payout structure than what they used to have before. They're saying, we believe a performance-based model that has a lot of benefits and will better reward high quality content. Traditional revenue share models rely on ads running in a creator's content for them to get paid. But many variables outside of creator's control influence their earnings, such as how many ads have already been shown to the person viewing their content or whether there's a relevant ad to deliver to that viewer. This means the highest performing content doesn't always make the most money. So this is why a lot of content creators on Facebook have said, hey, I got a million views and I made 10 cents. But this tells you that this is a better deal for content creators because right now you can only get paid for qualified views, but now you can get paid for all the views you get on your videos. So if you were able to get lots and lots of views before, but you weren't making that much money, Perhaps with this new change, you might be able to make way more money. How do I know this? Because I've asked several content creators and they have reported that they're making more money. In fact, some of these right here, as you can see, are claiming that they have the highest revenue day ever since their page has been transitioned to this new payout structure. Now, there's a lot of similarities on how Facebook is planning to do this payout structure and how YouTube is actually doing. YouTube pays you for all the views your video gets and it shows an ad typically in every single view. I suspect in 2024, we're gonna see a lot of pre-roll ads on Facebook videos, meaning that you'll have the option to skip an ad within the first five seconds just like you can do on a YouTube video. So do I believe that these changes are good for Facebook content creators? Well, it's hard to say because right now we have to wait on the data. Over the next six months, we're gonna know exactly whether these changes are positive for content creators or not. I do believe that Facebook is trying to get better at video monetization. They're trying to catch up to YouTube. YouTube has years of knowledge and experience on how to best monetize video content and Facebook is just getting started to understand exactly what works because they have made so many different changes over the past few years. I remember that back in the day you could only monetize three minute videos and now you can monetize any type of video 
And also you needed 600,000 minutes of watch time where now you only need 60,000 minutes. So things over time have become easier and better. So I believe that if they continue to improve in 2024, it might be one of the best opportunities for content creators looking to monetize their video content on Facebook if they understand exactly what works and what doesn't work and they take full advantage of the different monetization tools that Facebook is making available. Is it gonna be perfect? Of course not. It's not gonna be perfect. You should never rely on just a single revenue stream, especially not video monetization. This is one of the things that I always tell my students, my clients, my friends, diversify. Do not rely on a single platform for all your revenue. So I'll definitely be testing and seeing what works with this new payout structure. And I will definitely let you guys know over the next few months how I'm doing, whether I'm making more money, whether this thing is working, what I found out, everything that I know, I'm gonna be sharing that with you guys on my channel. And hey, if you're not on Facebook already and you're looking to learn how to really make money from Facebook, maybe build a page that can make you $10,000 per month, go ahead and watch this video right here. It's gonna teach you exactly the steps that I follow for every single new Facebook page that you can apply and start making a killing with video monetization. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.